The vast Amazon rainforest conceals a secret that has radically altered our understanding of human migration into the Americas. Buried beneath the layers of rich soil in a remote cave in the highlands of western Brazil, archaeologists uncovered human remains that would challenge the established timeline of our species' arrival on the continent. This discovery, hidden from scientific scrutiny for decades, has finally yielded its extraordinary revelation through the emerging power of ancient DNA analysis. For nearly a century, the conventional wisdom held that humans first ventured into South America approximately 14,000 years ago, following the retreat of the last great ice sheets. The narrative seemed straightforward and logical, tracing a path of human migration from north to south, leaving behind a trail of distinctive stone tools as evidence of their passage. Yet deep within the recesses of Serra da Capivara National Park, a remote and rocky landscape in northeastern Brazil, lay evidence that would shatter this long-accepted chronology. The story begins in 1973, when Brazilian archaeologist Nia de Guidon discovered what appeared to be human skeletal fragments in a cave known locally as Toca do Boqueirão da Pedra Furada. Initial radiocarbon dating suggested these remains were approximately 11,000 years old, already pushing the boundaries of accepted timelines. These findings were largely dismissed by the mainstream archaeological community, who pointed to methodological flaws and questioned the reliability of the dating techniques used at the time. For decades, the bones remained a controversial curiosity, neither fully accepted nor completely rejected by the scientific establishment. The debate remained locked in a stalemate between competing interpretations of fragmentary evidence and incomplete technologies. This impasse persisted until a team of international researchers led by geneticist Dr. Erica Tampieri from the Max Planck Institute for Evolutionary Anthropology, decided to apply cutting-edge paleogenomic techniques to these controversial remains. Using specialized extraction methods designed specifically for highly degraded ancient DNA, the research team isolated genetic material from the dental pulp of three individuals found at the site. The teeth, remarkably preserved in the dry conditions of the cave, had protected minute traces of DNA within their hard enamel shells for thousands of years, this extraction process, requiring extraordinary laboratory conditions to prevent contamination, represented the culmination of decades of refinement in ancient DNA methodology. The results sent shockwaves through the scientific community when published in the prestigious journal Nature in 2023. Genomic analysis conclusively dated the remains to 16,000 years ago, pushing back the arrival of humans in South America by a staggering two millennia. The DNA sequences revealed Genetic markers consistent with an early migration wave distinct from later arrivals, suggesting multiple journeys into the continent rather than a single population expansion. Perhaps most surprising was the discovery that these early pioneers carried genetic signatures linking them to populations from Eastern Asia rather than the Siberian origins associated with the later Clovis culture. This unexpected finding hinted at a previously unknown migration route possibly along the Pacific coastline rather than through the ice-free corridor that opened in central North America. The implications of this alternative pathway fundamentally reshape our understanding of a human adaptability and maritime capabilities during the Pleistocene. The skeletal remains themselves tell a compelling story of these first South Americans. Osteological analysis indicates they were shorter in stature than contemporary indigenous populations, with distinctive cranial features suggesting adaptation to different environmental conditions. Their teeth, show wear patterns uh, consistent with a diet high in fibrous plants and nuts, rather than the heavy reliance on hunting seen in later populations. Beyond their physical characteristics, the cave site revealed evidence of sophisticated cultural practices previously thought impossible for such early settlers. Surrounding the remains were ochre-stained tools crafted with remarkable precision, indicating advanced technological knowledge. Nearby rock walls displayed elaborate paintings depicting humans, animals, and geometric patterns dated to the same period through analysis of the mineral pigments. These artistic expressions challenge the notion that early migrations were purely driven by survival necessities. Instead, they reveal communities with complex symbolic thinking and cultural traditions established shortly after their arrival. The pigments used in these paintings originated from sources hundreds of kilometers away, suggesting extensive trade networks or seasonal migration patterns spanning vast territories. Climate reconstruction using pollen samples from the cave deposits provides crucial context for understanding how these early humans survived. 16,000 years ago, much of South America experienced dramatically different conditions than today, with expanded grasslands and cooler temperatures creating corridors of habitable terrain through otherwise challenging landscapes. These environmental conditions may have facilitated rapid movement through the continent, explaining the early presence of humans so far south. Archaeological evidence surrounding the burials 
indicates these pioneers developed specialized adaptations to local ecosystems within just a few generations. Stone tools found alongside the remains show innovations specifically designed for processing local plants and hunting smaller forest-dwelling animals rather than the megafauna typically associated with Pleistocene hunters. This technological flexibility likely contributed to their successful colonization of new environments. The genetic analysis reveals another surprising element. These early populations contributed DNA to modern indigenous groups throughout Central and South America. Their genetic legacy persists in contemporary populations from the Amazon basin to the Andean highlands, though diluted through subsequent migrations and admixture events. This biological connection creates a direct link between these ancient pioneers and living peoples, adding poignancy to the scientific findings. Critics initially challenged the findings, pointing to potential contamination issues or statistical anomalies in the genetic analysis. However, independent verification by three separate laboratories using different methodological approaches confirmed the original results. The evidence had become too substantial to dismiss, forcing a comprehensive rewriting of human prehistory in the Americas. The revolutionary findings triggered a re-examination of other controversial early sites throughout South America. Locations previously dismissed as unreliably dated, such as Monteverde in Chile and Piedra Museo in Argentina, suddenly demanded fresh consideration. New excavations at these sites have since yielded additional genetic material that corroborates the earlier timeline, creating a more coherent picture of rapid human expansion throughout the continent. This new chronology raises profound questions about how these early migrations relate to known archaeological traditions. The earliest firmly established cultural horizon in North America, the Clovis complex dating to 13,500 years ago, now appears to be a relatively late development rather than the vanguard of human settlement. The technological innovations previously attributed to the first Americans may instead represent adaptations by populations already well established in the hemisphere. Perhaps most significantly, the revised timeline aligns human arrival more closely with the extinction of large Pleistocene mammals throughout South America. Previous models had difficulty explaining the rapid disappearance of megafauna if humans arrived relatively late. The extended chronology provides additional time for human hunting pressure to impact animal populations, potentially resolving one of the most contentious debates in paleoecology. The Serrada Capivara findings have implications extending beyond academic interests into questions of indigenous rights and cultural heritage. For native communities throughout South America, the scientific validation of an earlier human presence strengthens claims of deep historical connection to their territories. These findings have been embraced by indigenous groups as confirmation of their oral traditions describing ancient origins on the continent. Beyond its academic importance, the discovery demonstrates how technological advances continue to transform our understanding of the human story. Techniques unimaginable a generation ago now allow scientists to extract genetic material from specimens once considered too degraded for analysis. Each new methodology peels back another layer of the past, revealing histories previously hidden from view. For archaeologist Nied Guidon, now in her 90s, the DNA results represent vindication after decades of skepticism from the scientific establishment. Her persistence in preserving these controversial remains, despite widespread dismissal, ultimately allowed for their revolutionary reanalysis. This personal narrative of scientific perseverance underscores how important diverse perspectives are in challenging established paradigms. The implications extend beyond the Americas, forcing reconsideration of human migration patterns worldwide. If people reached South America 16,000 years ago, they must have left Asia even earlier potentially during the depths of the last ice age when sea levels were significantly lower. This revised chronology ripples through our understanding of human dispersal across the globe, necessitating updates to migration models throughout Eurasia and the Pacific. As research continues, attention has turned to identifying the specific routes these early migrants followed. The traditional model of a gradual southward progression through an interior ice-free corridor appears increasingly unlikely given the new dates. Alternative hypotheses suggest a rapid coastal migration down the Pacific shore, with groups using watercraft to navigate along coastlines now submerged beneath rising seas. What remains particularly remarkable is the speed with which humans adapted to South America's diverse environments after arrival. Within just a few centuries, these pioneers had established sustainable lifeways in settings ranging from coastal plains to high altitude plateaus, demonstrating extraordinary versatility. Their success in colonizing such varied landscapes speaks to the remarkable adaptability that characterizes our species. The genetic evidence also reveals something unexpected about these earliest South Americans. They were not a homogeneous population, but already represented distinct lineages. 
This genetic diversity suggests multiple founding groups rather than a single migration event, complicating the traditional narrative of American settlement. The continent was not colonized in a single wave, but through multiple pulses of migration occurring over thousands of years. If you found this journey through humanity's ancient past fascinating, please like and subscribe to explore more groundbreaking discoveries that continue to reshape our understanding of where we came from and how we came to be.